This is a surprise indeed. Flipping heck. Three episodes in three weeks. It's amazing, isn't it? Alfie, what do you have to say about it? Well, uh, to be honest. Wow, man, no way. Yeah, I mean it's amazing. Like, I think we're, Tyler's at Tyler's at the hospital, unfortunately, because um, wait, wait, what's why are there ambulances and police cars down? down Alpha, you're delusional. Uh, no, I'm not. Look, shut up. Honestly, Al, Tyler's in the hospital because he, he had a string of not attacks the other day. But uh, so we're gonna have to do it without him. And uh, the... see, I told you. Yeah, you're right. Um, what? what it, that's getting louder. That's get. Tyler, it wasn't me. We just replaced the walls. Leave me alone. Stop Please. going through my holes. Hey guys, my name. Having another knot attack for God's sake. This is why we should have kept him over there. How did he even? Did he? Was he in the back of the ambulance or in the front? I don't know. I anymore. was driving, man. You was driving. You ever heard of hijacking? Yeah. And you had a knot attack. That's not safe. No, it's not. So. It's- I'm, be- I'm more pissed off than ever. <laughs> Tyler's having a heart attack and <laughs> Alfie's being the same old Alfie <laughs> that he always is. Shut up! <laughs> I will threaten you. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> so, we're gonna have to get into the first. Um, like last time, we got a schedule now. We're, we're getting more organised. Yes, yeah, very surprised. So, <laughs> indeed. Um, so, the first set. The first thing on our mind today is. Some stories. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. So, to Alfie, I remember you telling me yesterday about the um, when your granddad went on a skiing trip to South Africa. No, I didn't. You did. <laughs> now, would you mind telling the viewers what it, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. Basically, what happened is my granddad he went on a trip to Mazda and uh, where's Mazda? down the road oh, on the A3 <laughs> no what? Serious, no. He, he yeah, to, come on I can be serious okay, okay he went to Mazda and what happened was he bought a car and the guy said fancy a skiing trip and then and, and then where did he buy the car from? Uh, the granddad um, your granddad the granddad not my granddad oh uh, makes sense yeah. my, my granddad he uh, he bought the car off, off uh, a footballer called Jane and um and basically what happened is the the person said oh ski, skiing trip in Maldives oh yeah and and then and they went oh yeah sure why not and he walked uh, obviously he took the plane the plane almost crashed he was fine um how did it, how did it almost crash oh it it almost it hit the floor and went back up again uh and then again. yeah up again yeah and, and and then he walked home and then returned to the Maldives the next day walked on a, a field full of grass and snow he skidded down it, and he shouted, Oi! <laughs> and, 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 Is that South African, then? Uh, that, that's, Afri- uh, that's that's Chinese for... Psh, psh, okay. And what does psh mean? Psh, psh. You know what you stupid psh means? Means what? <laughs> okay, yeah, I understand now. Okay, and then what happened is, he went home, walked home, and never, never, never returned to the Maldives again. Love the Maldives. Oh. That is a very sad story. Uh, no, pff, God, should have seen the story where where James himself worked here. You know. What about that? Really? Okay, just keep them entertained. Just on this one. <laughs> rough, rough. Yeah, I'm in it. Oh. <laughs> All right then. So um, that was a very interesting story. We're just gonna wait a few seconds. There we go. Well, okay. Done. Um, while that was happening, we was uploading half every time. So while you're watching this, you can also click off this video and never watch it again because you're all sad shits. <laughs> so Tyler, Tyler, you got another story for us, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, indeed. So what's your story about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guy. Uh, this is a story of Solik B. Moore. Yeah. Who's, sorry. Who's Solik B. Moore? I got it. Sorry, I got it wrong. Cause I got C. Um, Bolek Theodore. Oh, Bolek Theodore. I think I've heard of him. Yeah, um, I created him in the WWE game, but it turns out he's actually uh, real. Uh, he came to me in town. I was I was in a Meg, which is like game, but it's, it doesn't sell us selling games. It sells rocket launchers. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So um, I went there, and Bolek Theodore came in, and he was like, <laughs> And then he beat me up, and I was like, "Oh shit, man! Are you the, are you that red guy?" And he's like, "No, no, 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 no. I'm Bolek. 
I'm red. And I was like, oh my god, no way. Wait, what, who's the red guy then? And he was like, that's me. The, the other guy is Broccoli Theodore, my big brother. But he's actually younger than me. But I call him my big brother because he's like 900 feet taller. I was like, wow, he must be very tall. And Bollock just said, no. That confused me. That 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 genuinely frightened me. That did when he said no. So I walked out the shop, looking behind me every trace of this way, and every day he was hopping closer. So I was like, one day I had enough. I was being bullied to the extent where I was. I went to bed every night and I just slept. Um, so I went. I turned around and I went. Wait a minute! <laughs> wow, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so he he was like. Um, Oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, is that so? Um, Do you know how Bolek Theodore was born? Uh, yeah. I heard it in the So news. anyway, so he's like, uh, so he said to me, "You, I'm, I'm only following you, right? Because you've, your legs are in a, in, a, in a tangle. I want to fix them. So I let him. But then just as he was about to finish, I violently screwed him in the eye with a screwdriver. And I, then I put like I hit him so hard in the back of the head with, with a hammer that it actually went into his brain. And after that, I just put my hand inside where his eye hole is and pulled his head in half and left him for dead. Yeah. Next day, I saw him and he was at my, he was at my school and he called the police and said that the shopping mall was falling over. Yeah. No, didn't know what he was on about, so just yeah, left yeah. it at that. Yeah. Is that it then? That would be it, guys. Okay. Ah! Stop screaming, he's going to scare the viewers. Anyway, so that was that was Tyler's story. That was Alfie's story before. So uh, I've got a story for you guys, and it's about the grasshopper who changed <laughs> Alfie. Oh, for God's so, sake. Anyway, while I tell my story, that have, Tyler's going to have to be saved again because of not attacks. Anyway, this story is about the grasshopper who changed sex. So... I was on, I was on a walk in the garden, um, as a salad garden. I was just picking some, I was, I was picking some vegetables to bring to um the, this episode, um, but they couldn't come because they were not ripe enough. So, yeah, and I saw this grasshopper. He looked, he looked at me, kind of confused. Went, "Have you been here before?" And um, I just asked him, "No, I, yeah, I have been here before." I said, like, "I thought so." Were you the guy with the long hair? No, I have short hair, man. I had a haircut week, weeks ago. Is that? I'm trying to tell a story here. Anyway, so yeah, he looked at me and went, yeah, so you've had a haircut? He's like, yeah, yeah, um, I got it, I got it when I was walking towards my Sainsbury's. He's like, the, the what, your Sainsbury's? You weren't it? No, no, it's, um, it belongs to someone, some guy called, um, Jonathan Ross. Is that, that's the guy who runs the show, isn't it? No, it's not. So, um, he was talking to me, and then midway, another grasshopper came, and he had some surgical tools on him. It's like, the, the, grass, the other grasshopper said, what have you got those surgical tools for? It's like, oh yeah, I'm a doctor, didn't you know? I was like, I said, like, wait, grasshoppers can be doctors. I, was, I asked him, like, oh, how can grasshoppers be doctors? I was like, oh, yeah. You think, you actually think that um, you're the only species who um, actually go to university and shit? Was, like, he's actually got full-on PhD, the highest PhD you can get, which um, is the, P- the master's degree in physics. That's the highest one you can get for a doctor. No, no, it's not. Sorry, it's the master's degree in, um, s- in um, food tech. So, anyway, yeah. And he said, "So, so they can be doctors then." So, yeah. So watch me, watch me ch- turn this grasshopper into a female. What, what was that? What have you done to him? What's going on? He, bit, he turned into a bloody zombie for five seconds. He bit me. And you spat on him. No, he spat on me. What? And it went back on him. Yes. <laughs> Bought shot force field anyway yeah so he went to prove he went so to prove that i am a doctor he went and got the grass copper and cut his head off and it turned him into a female so and yeah uh, the other grass just went thanks for doing that i've actually been i've actually been transphobic all my life and i wanted to be i wanted to be a female so um yeah that, that was the end of it he just walked off and i never saw him again i went back into the garden the next day and uh all i saw was the head of the grasshopper that uh, died Poor guy. You turn into a female. Poor lad. It's very sad. Yeah. Anyway, that was um that was my story. We've told our stories. It's a bit rainy outside, but that's not my that's not my, that's not my um judgment to call. So that that's for the Weather Channel, isn't it? Presented by Weaver. Yeah. How are you doing, Weaver? <coughs> uh, you are. Right? Oh, yeah. So I believe you have the new uh, the weather for us, don't you? Should do, but yeah, yeah. So, so, Weather, do you mind telling us what the weather is like today? Yes! Okay. Um, it's not raining. 
Did you hear that, guys? So apparently, according to Weather, it's not raining. So what's the weather really like? Is it not raining? So what's what, what's it actually then? You know, people. Hey! That's uh, basically no, the weather is. Baby, in the summertime, it's summer. So therefore. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> he didn't give me a cookie. Um, it, it's actually up in the north. It's, um, it, it's Wednesday. Therefore, it, <laughs> it means it's taco. It's raining. Taco l- Tuesday. It's, it's, it's raining on taco Tuesday. Back here, it's four. Uh, the wind speed is around zero kilometers per hour. Tyler's been an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got gale force winds here. We got gale force winds. Be Whoa, careful Jesus. if you Be careful if you. That's the weather. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, you're, oh, on. we had a power cut. The gale force winds from Tyler Shaw here. He um he shat himself. <laughs> yeah, he shat himself. I don't know if you heard it or not. But anyway, that was the that was the news from Weather. Thank you, Weather. Um, you're um from one you channel. The weather from Weather. Yeah, that was the weather from Weather. Um, so that from one channel to the other, it's the news channel presented by News Chanel. What's the what's the news today? Oh, god. Okay, so whoa, um, there's okay, so there's been reported crimes in the local area of Swarsel, which is Warsaw and Swar. My right, shut the. F- okay, we're gonna keep it PG, you fuckers. So, <laughs> right, so there's been murders on account of the guy. So you know how last time it was Zach the Ripper. Well, this time it's a new guy, uh, Zach the Ripper. So he's been he's been literally just tearing out appendages left and right. All you hear is. <laughs> Because that's what he, that's what he does to people. So, yeah, um, it's been reported <laughs> now. We do have more uh, security footage. He, he does wear. He wears a blue cloak that he sometimes never wears, um, and he also wears uh, blue like they're, they're shoes, but they're not really shoes. What they do is they're shoes, but they are like forty miles wide. He wears them as well, just to make sure he doesn't fall over if he ever gets in that position. Um, he or he always has a bottle of uh, pop to decker, and he seems to be drinking it and gaining energy because he plays. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't know the 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 white cliffs of Dover were allowed on the thing, but okay. So. Yeah, and also we have car a car crash on the M90. Um, it's kind of just <laughs> it's kind of just a, a whole train wreck of a place cluster. Um, what what happened was a car crashed into a, a car, and after that, nine trains managed to, somehow managed to came along. Because I don't know if you knew this, but the M9 is actually I mean M90. Sorry, I've got a. Uh, um, yeah. So n- there's nine train crossings on that road. What they do is they go nine. Yeah, they go like this, guys. As you can see, they go like that, um, and <laughs> the trains. What they do is when they hit a car, they go like they, they they go like this, and yeah. Is that it then? Yeah. Okay. Right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, News Chanel, for the news. Very dangerous person, and the car crash as well. So, I indeed, we, I, I believe, we're on to the next set of stories, aren't we? So, uh, Tyler, enough of the... Tyler, enough of the cookies. <laughs> ah, please, please. You're pulling me back. Stop. Enough of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Alfie, Alfie. Alfie, no. Stop. Leave him alone. Yeah. He's eating the cookies. It's his, it's his loss anyway, because it was his turn to tell a story. I know. So anyway, oh, <laughs> Alfie's gonna have to tell his story in the second set of stories. So I believe this is not one that involves his granddad this time. It actually involves his six-year-old son, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah. what did he do today? So basically, uh, my friend, my friend thought might as well head down to Wales and go whale spotting, and uh, in Wales or in Wales, and um, and and in my son said, you know what's coming for you. And um, I said, "What?" And then he goes, "Guess where we're going?" So and he said, "And he said, he what? said, so he said we're going to Clanfair Pool and Gickle Girl Wing Drop Clanfair Silly Old Shut up! No, 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 no. He said that's where we were going. 
Uh, but eventually, when we when we ended up on the four, the M4, next next to Romeo and Juliet, next to Romeo and Juliet, we actually saw them driving past in a Fiat really? Five. What Fiat Five. Movie? And um, is, and is and then we crossed over to the M90, and we saw that car crash that the the news guy presented. Where's it been? And uh, there. it's there. And um, and basically, I said, <laughs> I said, oh damn it, we can't go to Stamford Porking Kickle Gear Windrow Plant or Silly or Go 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 because it's blocked off. So then we ended up going to Swansea City, and we bought <laughs> <laughs> we bought a bottle from there. It was called Ja. And um, and then we went home basically. Oh wow! Bad. And uh, but it was it was the best thing, best experience of my life. But I really did want to go to Clanfair Portland Gickle Gear Windrow Clanfair Silly Old Gore 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 to um to go and see that new film 1917. Uh, but next time if you if you're out there, please visit um guys. Uh, back to back to Blake, back to uh, this guy. Oh yeah, he's going. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right, okay. Thanks to Tyler, we're still getting power cuts. Anyway, what so you your your gale force win. So we're back now. <laughs> um, yeah, Tyler was doing a handstand, which brings on to his story. That was a very sad story about Alfie and his son, which had nothing to do with his son. How long, actually? Yeah, yeah. And, anyway, so. While Tyler's looking for his phone, he can obviously tell us. Alfie, give it back. What? Al- wait, Alfie. I don't okay. have it. I don't. We'll be right back. Don't. So we're back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, so Tyler, Tyler has a story. Actually, he was doing a handstand. Fuck. But it's actually reminded him of his story when he was in the circus. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I used to be. Okay, so you know the, the trapezium, that shape. Uh, I used to be that. It's also called trapeze. What, a trapeze artist? Yeah, and what I did is I used to, cause I don't know if you knew it, but I like my, my ankles they bend the wrong way, so my foot's like a C shape, I like a Lego man's hands. So I hopped onto them and I swung. Uh, this is how I fell out of business because I kind of killed myself. So I swung, <laughs> and I swung so well that I, I accidentally let go. And like right, this took place in the city of England, and I ended up in the city of South Africa. That's how far I swung because it was that bad. Uh, on my travels, I saw many things, but what I did is I landed right on my thumb. If I landed anywhere else, I would have died, but my thumb, it supported all the weight, and all you heard was... <coughs> so, um, yeah, it kind of uh, hurt a little bit, but I'm back on track now, and I'm never going to join the circus again, because I liked it. Woo! Guess I'm oh, short story. the best, short but impactful. Yeah, very dramatic. So, my story this time is actually reminded me of uh, when it was on gymnastics... Actually reminded me of my version of some story when I worked as a takeaway delivery. So, um, yeah. So basically, what happened was, I used to work at this place called Ust Eat. J- Ust Jeet. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Stop. I want a video of myself doing it. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, so. so yeah, ah. What happened was, I worked at this uh, takeaway place called Ust Jeet. And, um, yeah, one guy came in. He wanted me to deliver 16 pineapple pieces. Like, mate. Pineapple pizzas, you can't deliver that. That's just like <laughs> blasphemy. That, that That's like crucifying Jesus twice in a row in one week. You can't do it. It's, um, and he, he got angry at me. He told me, right, well, if you don't deliver me the 16 pieces to my front door by tomorrow morning, I'm going to take your sock and eat it alive. And so I was, I, I, it, was a, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. So, um, I had, I had to deliver it. Uh, d- um, so I was there by, by, um, within two hours, he got his 16 pieces. But the secret was. The pineapples were actually made out of banana. So, oh, Thanks, so um, what actually happened? So what actually happened was um, he he called up. He says, "Mate, the, I think these you know these pineapples you gave me. They they, they taste like they taste like um, bananas for some reason." I was like, "Oh yeah, it's our new fla- it's our new flavor called banana." It's like, "Oh yeah, because they look just like they just look just like pineapples. It's really cool." Yeah, he actually liked it really, and he wanted a double order. This time he wanted 32 pineapple oh pizzas my God, with, the, no way. with the banana flavour. I was like, mate, we've run out. And I was like, but don't you have a lot of pineapples and bananas around? And well, yeah, but we just can't afford it, you know. They cost like 5p per per box. So, um, yeah, he was kind of depressed. So he offered to um, give him all the pineapple, all, all the pineapple and banana flavour, all the banana flavoured pineapples. 
fucking hell. Or uh, he offered he offered to give him uh, give us all the banana flavored pineapples he could find. So he, we did a deal in exchange for free pineapple banana, banana flavored pineapples pizzas for the rest of his life. So it was a very interesting story. And then one day, my very mate. Um, Sila Tor came um, came in once, and he asked for. Oh, this guy. Yeah, he wanted he wanted uh, he wanted some uh, cheese flavored baguettes. I was like, mate, we're we're Ostergeet. We don't do baguettes, and so we left, and we never saw him again. We uh, we saw on the news the next day that um, Zach the Ripper or Zach, what was it? Nate? What was the news? She knew Chanel. What was it? Zach the what? Zach the Ripper, his cousin. Right, that was Zach the Ripper apparently got to him and shaved his testicles right off. Oh my god. It, it um it looked painful, so we 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 had we had to we had to we had to, we had to, we had to make a memory of him and we made um we made a, a statue of him made out of cheese. It was yeah, a, he would like it. So that was it. Yeah, that was my story. I hope you enjoyed it. And um Tyler, come back. Tyler. Stop beating up Alfie. Because the reason why he's just stopped beating up Alfie is because Tyler has a new scary urban legend for you. Oh, yes, I do. So, what's this, this one about? This is, oh, this one's about, uh, this one's about a dog that, it's, f- I can't believe this, man. Give it back! <laughs> Thank you. This is about a gov, um, a gov, <laughs> a dog, a dog that snorts out cookies. Cookies. Oh, that sounds really nice. No, no, because I don't know if you know, but if you have cookies on you, it doesn't just sniff it out; it literally snorts you when you die. Oh. Because okay. it snorts your soul out. So where okay. did this originate from? Uh, it originated origi- from Doncaster. Uh, the the actual animal is called the Ropper Docker, the Ropper Locker Knocker, but people call it the R Bumper for nothing. So anyway, it, it it's a dog. It has like normal dogs. It has seven legs, uh, one tongue. Uh, nine noses because it needs to snort a lot and it has four eyes. Uh, what it does is it runs like this. Whee! That's the sound it makes. That's its howl, alright? Yeah? Whee! And it really doesn't scare you. It really gets you in the fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, that's, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to be aggressive. It's just because I've been caught by it once. It snorted my uh, soul out. PTSD? No, I have DP. Um, I have. <laughs> I had a. I had a I had Maryland cookies in my pocket. Next thing I know, they were gone. And was... basic, guys. N- the next thing they know, they were gone, but also my soul was gone, but my soul was already gone, which is fine. I don't mind that because my soul was already gone because I was a heartless little piece of shit. <laughs> no, they won't hear that because you're a little bastard and you ought to be doing that, alright? So... 420 Blazing! So, is that... So what happens? So what happens if you do get caught by the um, Mabadoka, or whatever it's flipping called? What did I tell you? It snorts your soul out, man. Oh, didn't hear that bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so scary <laughs> urban, scary urban legend, guys. And um, I kind of forgot about uh, Belmore Bollock. He might be very bad with me. Sorry, Belmore Bollock. It's alright. Um. I have a new product for you today, guys. Uh, don't yeah, don't you mind me? I don't hope you don't mind me just jumping in right here. Oh, oh no, it's all right, guy. I mean, guy. Uh, Belmont <laughs> Bollock. Roberts. Um, it, it's all right, but uh, oh, it's not. Okay, I'll just carry on. I left an outlaw by the name of Belmont Bollock. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's me. And um, I I came with your old new product today, and this product is um. It's very interesting for y'all. So remember when I got the, uh, the, uh, the uh, I got. You're trying to think, aren't you? Well, guess what, Belmore? You should have thought about four hundred morons. What? No, 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 no. I, I remember. If you remember, I got the Belmore matchstick and the Belmore. What was it? The Belmore. Oh. No, that was the first episode. Last episode. We'll have it. Oh yeah, the one fry pan. This year, I mean this <laughs> today, we got something entirely new. It's the Belmore kitchen. It's um, it's a mini kitchen, like a doll's house. But um, and the interesting thing is that um, it's made of cheese grated nipples. Um, we d- don't ask us where we got the nipples from. We miss Alfie very dearly. Um, and Tyler, yeah, he, they were good men. Um, for thank you, we need to thank them for their generous offer of donating their nipples to us. To making to making this um, Belmore kitchen possible. In this Belmore kitchen, you got all your services. You got your stove. You got your frying pan. You can actually use your wooden frying pan if you want. It's not big enough, but you can actually use it um, to eat, obviously, because you can fry it. And then, yeah. Um, but in this one, surprisingly, 
The Balmore Kitchen is also edible. Every one of my products that I'm making are edible. You notice a very trend here. Um, so anyway, yeah. So the, the uh, Belmore Kitchen will be shipped out by next week on Sunday. Um, it's going to be made out of cheese grated nipples. If you don't forget, it's going to. It's even got a fridge of full of... If you want to, the fridge included will be... If you pre-order, you'll get a free mini fridge. Um, which will be included to all your necessary needs. Like matchsticks, Belmore lollipops and the wooden frying pan. All the things you can get at the Belmore... And if you pre-order, pre-order, you'll get the uh, Belmore goodie bag with all the things that I've done so far. And maybe the secret one. I'm People not... are going to skip this section. Yeah, because it's shit. Uh, and anyway, I'm, I'm Blake, I'm very heartbroken that you said that to me. Sorry, it was, um, it was a spaz attack. Oh, it's okay then, yeah. It happens quite often, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, Ty just had one. And anyway, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Belmore Kitchen because it's going to be very fun. £450 pound flat in Warsaw. Yeah, it's going to be £450 per decade. Uh, so you better get it fast otherwise you run out of money. And um, take it away, Blake. Uh, bye-bye. bye-bye. And so thank you. Thank you, Belmore Lollipop. I mean, <laughs> Belmore Bollock. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, so with the uh, invention of his Belmore Kitchen... The bol- uh, was it Belmore Kitchen? So yeah, um, we bring on to the third and final set of stories. Stop <laughs> eating the tissue. Beaver- Stop. <laughs> yeah, spit it out. <laughs> no, Alfie. Stop opening. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to interact with the people while she's in the toilet? Yeah, well, it's your story anyway. Okay. Tyler, stop eating. Why are you eating the tissue? Okay, anyway, guys. So, last year, I learned how to do impressions, okay? And this is one of my favourite impressions oh, no. to do. It's the impression of Blake. You ready? I'm going to talk about how I'd met a whale once. Three, you two, done that? three, two, one. So, yeah, um... <laughs> So, I remember, it's a great impression, isn't it? So, I remember doing, uh, we met a whale once. It was, uh, it was actually very, it wasn't long after we went to see the whales uh, in Wales. So, basically, what happened was, uh, so we went to Wales in a car made out of cheese. Um, it's definitely not the secret Belmore recipe that he cooked up for us. So, yeah, it co- it didn't cost much. We went to, uh, we went to the edge of one fair thingy, my bob. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, mate. Uh, so yeah, we um, we got there very short. The Bel the Belmore cut very fast. You- Alfie, as um yeah, I'm talking to Blake. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, and anyway, so yeah, it didn't take long. It took about sixteen hours to get to Wales from uh, where we were in Scotland, or from here in the Pacific Ocean. Blake, what? Blake, stop fighting to add. Blake. Yes, Alfie. Just a rubber Oh, yeah. So since Blake, uh, since I'm doing an impression of Blake, um, Alfie started doing an impression of, I mean Blake started doing impressions of me, uh, and now they're wrestling, Blake and Tyler wrestling, they uh, they've they've got they can do that soon. Anyway, so yeah, basically we met this whale. Its name was Clive. Um, yeah, and that was the end of that. So it was a very nice story. It was um, his name was Clive, and he was a very nice guy. So uh, uh, Blake, Blake, come back. Tyler, let go of Blake. <laughs> Tyler, let go of Blake. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna finish doing the um accent now because I'm very bad at it. <coughs> oh, blow me that! That was the best impression I can ever do. And I've got one very more. Very good. I've got two more impressions. Sound just, just like Kirby, me. Kirby, the frog, you. Oh, well. Fuck you. Yeah. Kirby, what are you doing? Oh, hi there, pals. <coughs> and then one final. Yo, oh, I'm goofy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, goofy. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, one more thing. Sam Fett Porking will get a job. Right, Tyler. So the whales, yeah, that um Alfie did a very great impression of me. On a scale of one to six hundred million donuts, how good was the impression of me? Uh well it did sound exactly like it, so I'd say two. Oh, okay, very very thank you. Anyway, so anyway, Tyler, it's your story now. What I believe your story is about a factory that burnt down yesterday. Have I already said my story? No, it's the third set now. Far fair now. Okay, well, my story. (laughs) 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 
my story is about a story that happened in school. So. Or it was about a factory. No, well, yeah, but. We're in the fun, man. Idiot. Yeah, whoever said it was about. I'm the one telling the story, alright? Alright, alright. So I'm it's about a school, yeah? yeah? I'll tell the factory one another year. Yeah. Yes, so. This I was round the back of a. I was round the back of the building, the 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 building where we had French and food tech. So I went round the back of there and I did drugs. Oh, that's um cool. The head kind of drugs. The head teacher came round the back, right, and she uh, paracetamol. Oh yeah, well yeah, very dangerous drug. Do and the head teacher was called. She came round the back and she kind of just uh, told me off. Now my name is, and then she kept telling me off. And her name's Miss Katie, by the way. Uh, <laughs> anyway, she told me off, and uh, she said, "Excuse me, what, what, who the hell do you think you are telling me?" Oh yeah, uh, Alfie and uh, Blake have committed suicide. If you're thinking of committing suicide, please go get help. Actually, don't. Sorry, that's just thug. Anyway, so <laughs> you're gonna get minus thirty subscribers. Anyway, so um, uh. Uh, I not... don't know that one. Shut up! Who said you could talk? Yeah, man. Right, okay, carry on. God damn, man. man. Did you get detention or something? Well, we got sent home. Ah, yeah. We came back the next day and Miss Kaylee, she seemed to have forgot about it. She said, you're right, kids. Uh, I'm up for sex any time. And I was like, excuse me, mate. I'm only 12. Well, you're only 12. So I decided not to, all right? Yeah, my stories aren't too fun, are they? You want to know why? Because I have no... <laughs> Okay, we're running out of time. We've got to see if Tyler get the ambulance. Tyler, we've got to get the ambulance. Right, okay. Tyler, we Alfie, record the ambulance. Record the ambulance. You've got to get the ambulance quick. Alfie, call it quick. Uh, hello, ambulance, please. Yeah, to Boschman. Uh, Bosch. Street. <laughs> We've got to call. Come quick, please. Please come quick, please. Now, please. <laughs> Oh, I hear. I think I hear. I think I hear it. Oh, it's coming! It's coming! <laughs> oh, you arsehole! I, I thought it. paramedics were supposed to help you break down another wall. Like, just get it. Just get him in. Just get him in. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, he didn't go through my wall. See, at least he learns. On that Tyler last episode. Huh. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Tyler didn't get to say goodbye because he's dead now. Um, we well, hopefully we'll see him next episode though. Um, so. Alfie and Blake. I mean Alfie and me. I think it's time for us to go back to the uh, back to the garden where I we think belong. So. We need to plant ourselves back. We need to go to sleep. Yeah. So it was been a long. The garden hatches was in the morning. Yeah. So basically, um, Alfie, what would you like to say on this at the end of the fourth episode of season one? Guys, you stuck with us. And you shouldn't really. Um. Yeah, Alfie. That, these power cuts, man, they're getting out of control. So, uh, Alfie, just say, wait, say that again. Really quick, okay. Thank you guys for sticking around. You shouldn't have really stuck around, but, uh, yeah, sure. Hope you have a nice day. Uh, or night. Or, or or maybe maybe morning. But, um, yeah, next year, we'll see you. We won't. Yeah, so thank you, Richard. Thanks Friday. for what I'd like to say is that um, we've had fun. You shouldn't have stuck around this long. Uh, hopefully, episode five will come very soon. So... As from the Salad Garden podcast, we say bye-bye. Bye-bye.